I'm Derek Hall, president elect for the Rotary Club of Grand Prairie. We're here at the Rotary International Convention at the House of Friendship with Lassa Peterson, part of the response team that deploys the shelter boxes. Lassa, where have you de been deployed? Yeah, I've been involved with the response teams for three years. Deployed to uh, Papua New Guinea for a volcano eruption, Solomon Islands for a tsunami, uh, Kenya for some of the conflict, refugees helping them. Then last year to Myanmar for the cyclone Nargis, which killed 130,000 people and left uh, three million homeless, and then to the, the China earthquake last year, which killed, sadly, about 100,000 people and left almost 10 million people homeless. So Rotary is able to get places that other other organizations can. There are a couple examples. Yeah, the best case is probably Myanmar last year, really. Shelterbox was the only Western aid organization given visas for Myanmar on day one. Uh, they wouldn't allow Red Cross, Ian Oxfam, or any other UN agencies. But Shelterbox was given access, and we had volunteer members from the United States, from Canada, from Australia, and from the UK, all able to deploy to Myanmar and bring aid. Similarly, China China has never accepted international aid before, uh, and yet last year after that uh, earthquake, then they allowed a number of international agencies in. Shelterbox was one of them. Again, they did not let groups like the UN in, but we were able to get response team members from the UK, from Canada, uh, and from Australia in to help with the Chinese earthquake. And North Korea? Uh, yes, North Korea is another one. We've had uh, teams in North Korea uh, bringing aid for, for flood victims. Again, you know, really a very closed country that generally does not allow outsiders in. And I think it's the track record of what Shelterbox does. We deployed to uh, almost 100 disasters in 57 countries, places like Afghanistan, Somalia, North Korea. That track record of having helped providing emergency shelter for 800,000 people you know, shows what we can do and what uh, Shelterbox and Rotary can do. Let's uh, talk a little bit about the deployment team training. Yep, we have uh, 150 volunteers at the moment worldwide who are trained response team members. They go through an, an extensive interview and selection process. Um, basically, you know, we need resourceful, resilient people who, who can represent as well, who can stay safe and get the job done. Um, <coughs> It is a tough challenge um, when you're out there in the field, generally working long hours, 20 hours or so, physically and mentally demanding. Uh, but we've got a great bunch of guys that they've been through an extensive training program, very intense, and, uh, and they get the job done. So part of that training though is a 10-day, uh, I guess it's be deprived camp out in the wars? Uh, well, once, once they've completed the selection process, which is usually run in the country they are, we run them in Canada, we run them in the US, we run them in Australia and UK. Uh, the successful applicants that are chosen from that will come to the UK and yeah, they do a, a nine-day nine day training course here in, in the UK covering everything really from uh, survival skills, uh, you know, that basic navigation, disaster training, as you're going to be facing the field, uh, personal security issues, all those essential elements you need in the afternoon. Well, thank you very much, Lassen. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, appreciate it.